Okay, I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, it's been a few weeks. I made a video, but I had to take that video down because um, there may be some um, court issues um, with the machine that I bought. So unfortunately, some of you actually got to see the 315 excavator that I bought. Um, but I am taking the person, the dealership I bought to court over that because of um, stuff I can't talk about at the moment until the lawyer tells me I can talk about it. Anyways, and the other thing is I've been extremely busy. We sprayed out one tank already, 720 gallons this tank is, I believe. Um, it takes a while to fill it. So what I do is I come home for lunch, hook the water up to this thing, let it do its thing. I did add in this year, um, I added in another valve for the front foot because the front foot, when I first built this, I was afraid to shoot across the suction over there. I thought it would interrupt the flow or the suction. So I only did two feet, the middle foot and the front of the truck foot, um, which is like the back of the hydro seeder. I call this the front. And it's been raining like crazy. There was a little dirt stuck in, in the corner. Um, I was hauling, hauling topsoil to this job in the rain because of my schedule. I just, I had to do it. So it is making a mess. We are using the Lesco seed starter mulch pellets. Um, now everybody has their own way of doing it and everyone thinks they're an expert, but I go according to the paperwork that I get from the supply house. And it's five of those bags. Um, trying to think of how much they weigh I don't know the weight on them to be honest with you I like don't remember but I know five of these bags um, in one big bag of seed in a bag of furt like uh, triple 19 like starter to one whole tank is what the math works out to be so yeah it's 720 gallons now um what i do is i do 150 pound and a half per tank just to increase my odds of like success so the hose reel this year <clears throat> Everything's good. It's still working good. Um, that's the one we got off the fire truck um, The old fire truck still working good. I did make some changes with the foot the extra mixing valve and I'll tell you it's I wish I did it from the beginning, you know live and learn now people always ask me why I don't use the bales well because This is the size of the opening on the top I tried to use the bales once, but I was breaking them up with my hands and it took too much time. These, I will just rip open the corner of the bag and just pour in the pellets. I'll actually show you because I'm about to mix up some. It's basically pellets. That's what it looks like. And what I'll do is I will turn this on full blast, the pump. And I would just recirculate through these feet. And then what I do is I will alternate valves. And then when we're spraying, you can see we just got done spraying the first one. The middle valve, we just crack it, crack it halfway. And what that does is it'll keep, after you mix this all up into like a slurry, and I will, I will like shut one valve, open the other one, and um, that way I concentrate all the power of the pump to blowing all the stuff around through one. Then I will, sh I will open another one first so we don't hurt the pump and then shut this one. And then I'll do that between them. But then when we go to spray, we just crack that one open and, and that one goes to the middle of the drum 
And what it does is it just keeps the slurry at a slow um, barrel rolling motion after um, I feel that it is consistently mixed, you know, perfect. Um, but like I said, it's really tough because I got the tank used. Um, the only thing I bought brand new other than all these plastic valves is this engine, um, this pump. And you can see I like had to cut, I cut off a lot of the, I don't know what you want to call it, the cage that they had it in to uh, make it work. And then this year I also took out a board and I actually welded in, we torched in. It's all dirty right now because of stupid mistake I made of not cleaning this truck out, but it's okay. All this stuff is flowing from the corner down here. I cut in stake pockets, which I wish I had did from the beginning, but originally before I had the barn door on the truck, I designed this to this, I made this skid to be picked up from the side. And we were putting it on a trailer originally, and I didn't have the hose reel. But now that I made the barn door for the truck, which I still got to put the spill plate on, which I don't even know if I'm gonna because I'm not really doing asphalt, so I might not. Um, I put more of this box tubing, I welded it in um, the long way here. So now this can be picked up carefully with the forks on the skid steer empty i can't pick this up full and then placed into the back of the truck uh the long way and then the hose we just so the airbags on the truck right now are pumped up but like when i get to the job what i'll do is i'll dump the air and it'll give me like you know maybe five six inches lower it doesn't really make that big of a difference sometimes i do it sometimes i don't depending on how i'm feeling but now it's easier we just pull the hose off you know straight off the back of the truck swing you know swing the door around and then uh we just left the supply house uh this morning i had to go get more um i knew i was gonna have more but i'm limited on room kind of so what we'll do is is we just load up the side there um i try not to load this area here um just because the muffler gets hot and it will melt the bags. Even if you load a bag here, like I could put it there, but if you load a bag here, let's say you're gonna go mix this on the job and you fire this up, you have to remember to move the bag away from here because that exhaust blows over and will melt the bag. Um, I know because I've done it. So uh, I did weld this stand here. The pump was moving a little bit. I had it U-bolted down through here. But this year I welded this piece over and welded it to there. And now I got no movement out of it. So everything is, uh, everything's, you know, it, it's definitely not no thin or expensive machine, but I'll tell you, <laughs> uh, I did some hydro seating with my neighbor across the street um, recently. Um, joint project i guess if you want to call it that or or me helping him out whatever but it was a big hydro seed project uh i'd probably still give the big big ones to him he has a big fin uh diesel engine all that hydraulic hose reel works really nice but really expensive for me and i don't do as much as him so i can't justify buying one maybe someday you know but hey if it works so I'm gonna mix the stuff. What I gotta do first is I'm going to start the pump. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you don't ruin the pump um, by having it closed. So what I'll do is I will open the middle foot. I call them feet because that's basically what they are on the tank. Um, unfortunately, this tank I got used so uh, if you ever decide to build one of these and get like a tank that had that is completely around none of those i mean this works good you know the tank was 450 dollars. i bought it off of an old guy with a um, mobile power washing um business and he had this in a box truck um but if i was going to do it again i get a tank without those 
just completely round tank. The only problem with that is then it requires a metal saddle. Uh, one of those metal saddle things to sit in. So, I don't know. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't, because this actually works really good. So, I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to fire up the pump. It's going to be noisy. I got one valve open, the middle foot. Okay, because that'll get the barrel rolling. Then what I do is I start pouring in the pellets. reason I put the pellets in first is because you want to add, they take a while to agitate to break up so they're not hard and turn into a slurry okay and then once you have all that in there and that's doing that then i put the seed in because then it sticks to that um you could put the seed in first i guess it wouldn't matter but I, it's just what's been working for me so that's what i'm sticking with so let me um start pouring some in and then I will show you what I got going on. That's one foot, you can see it moving. I call it a foot, but that's one of the, the mixing feet uh, um, valves open, the middle one, so it's blowing across and rolling this barrel. making the platform on top of this. That's kind of a joke. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> The homeowner, he's here, he was just leaving. Um, let me see him out of here and I'll get, he's happy. Uh, as long as he doesn't hit my truck, I'll be happy. And this job originally another contractor did it and um we got hired to spread topsoil on existing grade i did fix the grade a little bit it was really bad in a couple spots but when someone else comes in and they clear around trees 
you're really kind of like stuck with the grade because it goes up towards the golf course. You can't really drop it because, you know, ideally, in an ideal situation, you, when you grade, you would like the whole yard to pitch off towards the woods or a wood line or, or you know, over there, you know, the vegetation of the trees and the woods will suck up any water. But unfortunately, this lot pitches back, but um, they left a stump over there. There's a dead pine. I mean, I don't, hey, like I said, you know, you get paid to do what you uh, get paid to do. You do what you get paid to do. But this is this dead pine right there. Skinny, that skinny one, that's dead. This one's dead. So, um, I'm not really sure why they left them there. And, um, the trees are higher, so you can't really take it down. There's a ribbon on that tree, that maple, they wanted to save that. So we can't take that down because, you know, you'll be disturbing the roots, so you can't really take the grade down. All right, you ready? Um, yep, perfect. Let me, yeah, let me turn the tip here. Okay. Now, there's a miscon there's a misconception here that you have to like completely cover the ground. Um, people don't understand. That's not true. I'm getting a little bit of water on this one. Oh, it's, there it goes. Sometimes it's like left over in the hose. So you don't have to cover the entire ground, like paint it green. Getting a lot of water. Huh. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and then I just stand however much back, take a thing with the hose, this, toss it up on my shoulder, and then boom. So this is pretty much it. We just do this. When we're done, it looks like that. But, um... I just went and mixed it a little bit more because uh, the ride over here, I don't leave the engine running. So it, it does weird stuff when it sits in the vehicle. It doesn't, you know, like it doesn't, uh, how do I say it? Anything you put in a vehicle with water, like say a dump truck with mud, whatever, what it does is it tends to separate stuff. So. It will bring the liquid to the top and solids to the bottom. So what we um, do when we first get there is we will crank up the engine and we will have to give it another good mix. But all this is is just something for the seed to stick to and germinate. It's not actually supposed to be complete ground cover. You're not here to cover the ground. You're spraying out um, a, a mulch for the seed to stick to it'll germinate in the mulch and the starter and all that which I just put a bag of starter in there when we got here because it tends to do weird stuff uh, with the starter when it's full um, it'll it'll puke it out the cap because I put too much water in it that time but we're gonna spray a little bit and then we'll check back in. Okay, that's it, we are done. That's how it goes, you just spray it on. And then um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna come back, I'm going to blow off the driveway. My buddy Bryson had to go, so my other buddy, uh, Randall, came to help me drag the hose and reel up the hose, he was down the street. Um, either way, doesn't matter, we got it done. And yeah, so the story behind this is another contractor started this. And basically, 
I wasn't real happy about the soil they used, uh, the condition of the grading. I tried to fix it the best I could, but they basically just wanted me to hydro seed it, which I don't like hydro seeding other people's jobs because there's a lot of like sticks and roots and crap in places. I had my two sons here yesterday um, with the loppers um, chopping off roots and you know, you just get to a point where it's like, you know, it's kind of hard. So anyways, that's a wrap on this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.